Hello, my name is Kim Sarat, at Apex 2015 in San Diego. I'm joined today by Jack Patty from um, Vintech. Jack, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah. Uh, first day of the show. Uh, we're in sunny San Diego. Um, welcome. Thank you. How are you? Let's talk a little bit about the American market and, and things that are going on here at the moment and how that is affecting business in general and then we'll talk about Ventec and what you've got you okay. know, to, to offer that. So what, what's going on in the market here? Well, it's actually quite exciting for us. Um, we've got a lot of expansion going to meet the current needs of the market um, in terms of uh, our products. Um, the uh, mill aero sec uh, business sector is really exploding for us. Um, and you know we're the only laminator in the world that has AS 9100C. So that's really um, put us in front of a lot of uh, very important mill aero, mill aero PCB companies and uh, OEMs actually. Mm -hmm. um, since, you know, from a business sector, um, the port strike has been uh, a challenge for a lot of people. But as uh, our business model being the manufacturer, we've been able to really meet those needs. I mean, we uh, we like to say. Um, you know, we make a commitment to our customers, so you know what we've been saying is we've got your back. You know, yeah. we uh, in these difficult times, we've got their back, and that's really uh, been pretty exciting for us. And I, I, you know, I can I can tell you I haven't been this excited to be at an IPC show in a very long time. Yeah. You know, there's so much blood person. Uh, coursing through our business right now, so uh, that's pretty exciting. Because that's a key strength, really, to, to, to be a manufacturer rather than a distributor. So from a customer's point of view, what, what sort of benefits do you bring, um, mm -hmm. particularly in, in a situation like we're in? You mentioned the port strikes. Right. You know, there, there are a lot of customers yeah. that are suffering <clears throat> through that. Yeah, for us it's huge. I mean, I was a distributor for 21 years, so I know both sides of the model. Um, and you know, we made an effort a few years ago to streamline our distribution channel um, so that we could better support the customers. And what that means is certainly, you know, the port strike. You know, there are, you know, we're not completely unaffected by it, but we have planned accordingly. You know, we've had containers that are five weeks late. But however, we've increased our inventories. We have the press in California. We have um, amazing support from. Um, you know, from our manufacturing base in China, um, they are completely committed to the North American marketplace. So, if I need something for a customer, I can call the CEO who is going to be here at this show to show his support and say, "Hey, Tony, I need this," and he'll say, "No problem, Jack. We are hmm. going to support your customers." So, uh, for us, um, you know, that's been extremely exciting and really important. And I can tell you, we've captured a lot of business in the last month from. I don't know how to put it, but failure from our competitors to support their customers. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they see our business model. And as a distributor, it's hard. You know, um, no one has, you know, um, unlimited resources. But generally, as a distributor, you're smaller and you don't have the type of resources that you have from a manufacturer. And, and for us, that's been a big key to count on those resources when they're needed, um, which is now. Mm -hmm. Um, to support the customer base, and it's been really exciting for us. Yeah. Um, so it's an element of, of, of strong control, as well as then the flexibility of being able to make decisions because you're yeah. you're the source. I well, guess. Well, control. You know, the, what we found uh, in particular with the port strike is uh, it's the first time in 25 years where you would receive information from your customs broker and it wasn't accurate. You mm. couldn't count on it. Mm. So, you know. Control is one thing, but what we did was we put a plan in place to manage that. You know, we you know to go to different ports to increase our inventory to make sure we had it. So, um, so we were pretty aggressive in our in our action plan. You know, we saw this early. This has been going on for nine months, so we saw this quite early. So, um, and I think we've we've got a payoff from that from uh, people who have said, um, you know, we understand you are different than your competition. Yeah. Now let's talk a little bit about, I'll be talking to um, Martin, uh, Martin Cotton later about yeah. the, um, the OEM focus that you mm -hmm. have as well, but let's quickly touch on that. Right. Uh, what, are, what are the benefits? What's your strategy now? It's huge. You know, Ventec has made a commitment to the OEM uh, marketing. Um, bringing Martin on board has been huge. Um, he's really well connected. Um, and we're concentrating on uh, really three things in our, uh, in our OEM marketing. Uh, the mill, or, mill arrow, certainly with the polyimid, 
the signal integrity, which is a big focus, and all of the in our metal back laminate for in particular for the lighting OEMs. Those are three areas of extreme rapid growth for us. Um, so Martin's been in charge to build the OEM program. He's been with us about a year. We just hired Peter Coolen, who is uh, really you know. It's a very important hire for us. We have another one that, another person that we are planning to hire. Um, it's a little bit, we can't mention who yet, but uh, that's going to be another uh, terrific hire for us. And um, I'm looking at someone uh, for an IMS product specialist because that's something that, um, the OEM um, situation with that is a little bit different because it's the first time where our, cu our customers, the PCB factories, are really pushing us, encouraging them to change materials with the, I with the OEM. So there's a, a unique partnership that I haven't seen with the OEM uh, situation before. And so you, you could actually get a, an OEM approval within two or three months versus mm -hmm. six mm -hmm. months, nine months, 12 mm -hmm. months. So uh, it's, uh, that's been pretty exciting for us. So, so lots of investment and um, also an app that's just come out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, we're, we're pretty excited about that. I have to uh, give kudos to my colleagues in the UK who have uh, who've really helped drive that. But, um, but I think that's kind of fun. And it's also very useful because we can be in front of a customer and um, you know, one talk about it. I mean, I like telling our story because I think our, our story is very unique, but doing things like the apps and things like that, I think are, uh, are pretty fun. Um, mm. yeah. And ultimately useful for your customers it as is. well. It's, so. it's huge, yeah. 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 And um, in our, um, you know, the story we were talking about, the expansion that we have, um, we're hiring, we're growing. Uh, we just hired two new salespeople, one for Chicago, one for California. We're looking for somebody for Texas. We're looking to hire in the mid-Atlantic states. So, I'm, you know, my goal is to bring on six to eight salespeople in the next two to three months. So I don't know anybody who is in our, um, you know, in our competition that is looking to expand in that uh, in that way. Plus, we've doubled the size of our California facility with our quick, quick turn manufacturing operation, and we've doubled the size of our Chicago facility. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we're really adjusting to the market. And um, like I said, I haven't felt this good about our business opportunities in a really long time. Well, that sounds very positive, very promising. Lots of exciting news coming out of Vente. Um three days ahead of us uh, with the show, so I wish you, uh, Thank you. good luck, lots of success, and Thank I look you. forward to you know, continuing watching Ventec and, and the adventures to come. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much.